A group of Republican state representatives expressed their frustration over the proposed legislative boundaries, calling the mapping process unfair. News 13's Jackie Kent is live at the Roundhouse with the details. Yeah, State Rep Stephanie Lord says that the, house, the proposed house maps kicked the conservative-leading city of Edgewood out of her district. She says her constituents are concerned they'll be stuck in a district that is more in line with Santa Fe than the East Mountains. The East Mountains is a very, very unique area with very unique issues. It is the whole area. So District 22 has always been a community of interest. And the biggest problem is it being moved around. It's not representative of the people anymore. During a meeting on the House floor this morning, the so-called Citizen Redistricting Committee presented its recommended maps for the New Mexico House, while outlining the process, which included input from about 2,000 New Mexicans. Republican Representatives Rebecca Dow and James Townsend labeled the mapping process as political gerrymandering favoring the Democrats. While Dow backed the bill that created that Citizen Committee, she says it's not impartial as she had intended. Other lawmakers said they see no problem with the new map options. I think that those arguments are moot in this particular instance. Um, we've had nonpartisan um, entities review these maps on a national scale. We have to respect a House committee took public and comment on the maps this afternoon. One speaker is urging lawmakers to work with indigenous communities in the northwest part of the state to ensure more Native American representation is heard. And an attorney for the ACLU of New Mexico says that the civil rights group does support the redistricting preferences drawn out for the Pueblo, Navajo, and Apache nations of New Mexico. Back to you. All right, thank you, Jackie. You can check out the house maps by heading to alwaysonkrqe.com.